big summer reading wrap up block party at the Jackson District Library. We have community engagement coordinator at the library, Rachel Fenningsdorf. Welcome. Thank you for having me. Yeah, great to have you here. Did yeah. I say your name right? You sure got it right. Good. <laughs> How long have you been with JDL? Almost three years oh, now. Wow. Yep, I started, um, I, I made a quick rise. I started as a page at Carnegie and then I was briefly in LA One, which is a library assistant one at at, Car at Summit, mm -hmm. and then I moved on to be branch manager at Concord and Hanover. So my new role officially starts Monday. Oh, cool. Yeah. Well, congratulations <laughs> on your new position. Thank you. So the uh, big wrap up of the summer reading program is this Saturday. Yes. So it's this Saturday, one to four, and it's a block party. We're gonna have a live DJ, uh, Ring of Steel, which is an acrobatic stunt troupe will be performing. There will be tents to sit under so that parents can uh, get out of the sun a little bit. We'll have all sorts of activities, some snacks, crafts. There will be a mermaid um, and a selfie station. There'll also be face painting and it's all free. Well, it's because your theme is oceans of possibilities that you're able to secure the services of a mermaid. That's correct. <laughs> I think we weren't able to have a full-blown kickoff or wrap party for the last couple of years. Mm -hmm. Yeah, we were unable to just due to the pandemic and we're excited to uh, be able to kind of take that original plan and um, improve on it put it into fruition and have a great time with the community, you know, have everybody get out. And it doesn't, it doesn't really matter uh, if you haven't completed the program. It doesn't matter if you haven't signed up for the program. It doesn't matter if you don't have a library card. We still want you to come. <laughs> and it's really, it's the honor system as to whether you read anything or not. Oh, that's true. We, um, we, you log your hours through an app called Beanstack and you can do it on your phone or computer. You can stop by the library and let them know your hours. But after four hours, you get to enter a drawing for prizes. Oh. And what's cool about the prizes this year is they're all experiential. So there are still physical prizes too, but a lot of them are things to do in Jackson. So whether it's a bowling party at Jack 60 or a gift certificate to play putt-putt at Ella Sharp, we've got a lot of cool options that you can enter the drawing for after you read four hours. And that's, <laughs> that's all, all it takes. Just four hours. Yep, you get one entry after four hours, and every four hours you read, you can get more. <laughs> are uh, a lot of people reading on, uh, on devices? Mm -hmm. Yep, it all counts. Um, lots of people read on devices. Lots of people listen to audiobooks. I have a little bit of a commute, so I spend a lot of time listening to audiobooks myself. Would you prefer the hard copy or the digital? I still like curling up with a good book, so mm -hmm. hard copy for me. Yeah, me too. Mm -hmm. I, I, uh, I don't know what it is. It's just, I guess, uh, I'm just a traditionalist yeah. when it comes to reading. My kids do a lot of reading on their tablets, and uh, it's, it's not that way for me. I just, I like the smell of the pages and the experience of it. So everybody has something that's, you know, safe for them and comfortable. And so I say it all counts. Whatever you like. Mm -hmm. So the re reading program wraps up on Saturday, but um, people should continue reading after Saturday. They definitely should continue <laughs> reading. Um, they have till Sunday to officially get their reading done and get those tickets in so that they can enter for the prizes. But this is just an opportunity for us to celebrate the summer, celebrate the reading. Um, also, I mean, it combats summer slide, right? So the hope is that they get back to school and they you know, have found a new love for reading or a different genre or just keep reading. It's really amazed me how many kids really, and adults participate in the summer reading program and all the things you have at all your branches. We've had over 4,700 so far. Wow. So, yep, we crossed that, uh, that 4,700 mark, I think, yesterday. That's so. great. Mm -hmm. And all those programs, uh, the interactive, the, the, um, the entertainment, all the stuff that you bring into the branches, uh, it's really cool, and it's amazing how, how uh, well attended they all are. Mm-hmm. We, um, we have a lot of fun, yeah. so, <laughs> you know, uh, a lot of people come into the library with their kids and they tell them they have to be quiet in the library. 
uh, but we don't we don't necessarily do that anymore. We have to be respectful in the library, right? Respect others, mm -hmm. respect yourself, respect the materials. We're all stewards of you know this great building and the community that has been entrusted to us. But mostly, we want to celebrate growth, mm -hmm. and that's a big part of it. And by doing that, we have fun. So no shushing. No shushing. You're never going to hear a shush out of me except for this this interview. <laughs> last right, time let's, really right. let's take a look uh, one last time. The, all the things that are happening on uh, Saturday at uh, the party. Uh, there's a mermaid and some other uh, special guests. Yes. Yeah, so we have a mermaid. We have a face painter who will have ocean themed things. We have a selfie station so you can kind of deck yourself out and take a selfie with the mermaid, which should be pretty fun. The bookmobile will be there. There will be a bubble machine, uh, live DJ, um, kids, and really anyone can make a mermaid pendant uh, craft. There's a walk the plank activity and also the great Pacific uh, garbage, which is a, it's going to be a net full of things that you can learn a little bit about recycling. It's an I spy game. <laughs> awesome. There's a huge uh, exhibition at John Ball in Grand Rapids of mm -hmm. animals, uh, aquatic animals made out of the garbage oh, really? pulled out of the Pacific. Oh, wow. Yeah, it's amazing. Unbelievable. I was just in Grand Rapids a couple of weeks ago and I should have stopped by to see that. That sounds fascinating. <laughs> yeah, I had never been there before this year and I highly recommend it, uh, John Ball Zoo. Yeah. And the Jackson District Library. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Thanks for coming in. Absolutely. Thanks for having me. Look forward to being in again. You bet. Thanks. Uh, big day Saturday. One to the, four. One to four in yes. downtown Jackson. Thanks to Community Engagement Coordinator Rachel Fenningsdorf. Thank you so much. Thank you. Uh, we've got